If you've managed to catch a cold, here are the best and fastest ways to reduce duration and intensity of any virus or bacteria induced cold ASAP. Way more important than anything else is eliminating everything that promotes the growth of viruses and bacteria. The number one culprit is sugar. Sugar has a similar structure to vitamin C. Vitamin C is vital for the functioning of our white blood cells. But as we consume sugar and our blood sugar levels increase, the white blood cells absorb sugar instead of vitamin C. Their effectiveness against viruses and bacteria is reduced by up to 75%. Sadly for us, this means no comfort foods that contain sugar or simple carbs. Also, no alcohol because alcohol subdues the immune system. And no dairy products because they produce a mucus overload in the colon, therefore reducing the effectiveness of our immune cells even more. Next, remove any iron supplements in multivitamins as bacteria and viruses feed on iron. Also, avoid frequent meals and any snacking because each time we eat, this blocks cell regeneration. Number two, essentials for recovery. The most important thing we can do right when we catch the cold is start fasting, at least for 24, if not 48 or more hours. Why? When we're fasting for longer periods of time, longer than 20 hours, our body starts a process that's called autophagy. This is a cell renewal process where old cells are digested and built into new ones and inflammation is decreased. It also increases the lifespan of T and B cells. T cells kill pathogens and B cells build antibodies to recognize future infections. Autophagy also helps to build more T helper cells, which help coordinate the immune response. Next, we need to support the gut flora, our microbiome. The reason is that more than 70% of our immune system sits in the gut. And this is also where our immune cells are trained. How do we support the microbiome? By fasting, by consuming a vegetable rich diet, especially with lots of fiber, and by consuming prebiotics and probiotics. Fermented veggies like sauerkraut and kimchi contain both. And if you want to add more prebiotics to feed your good probiotics, good sources of prebiotics are green bananas, any fiber rich vegetables, and especially acacia fiber. Next up, one point that is totally underestimated, which is eliminating stress. This is especially important when we are sick because cortisol, the stress hormone, subdues our immune system. Therefore, if we are in a constant state of stress, our immune cells cannot work properly. Cortisol also produces sugar, a process that's called gluconeogenesis. From gluco, sugar, neo, new, genesis, generation off. This excess sugar not only makes us fat, but it also depletes vitamin C because the body needs lots of vitamin C to get rid of the sugar. And again, it blocks the uptake of vitamin C into white blood cells. Next up is regeneration. There's nothing more important than getting enough sleep and the regeneration time when you're sick. Sleep increases the production of growth hormone, which is not only necessary if we want to build more muscle, but also to stimulate our immune system, mainly T cells and B cells. As growth hormone production is highest between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m., it's important to go to bed early. Number three, foods, vitamins, and other nutrients that actually help when you have a cold. For the production of immune cells, especially white blood cells, we need high amounts of vitamin C. It's important not to take synthetic vitamin C, but vitamin C from real foods to get the whole natural vitamin C complex. The foods highest in vitamin C are sauerkraut, red peppers, broccoli, and cauliflower, but also rosehip, sea buckthorn, berries, acerola, camu camu, and lemon. When you squeeze the lemon juice, don't forget to peel out all the white stuff, which contains more vitamin C than the juice itself. If you consume fruit, try to consume the ones that have the least sugar content for immune modulation, so to reduce the duration and intensity, but also prevent overreactions. Two other nutrients are essential, vitamin D and zinc. Vitamin D is produced when we expose our skin to the sun. During the winter, or if otherwise there's not enough sunlight available, we can also take cod liver oil, which is the best natural source of vitamin D, or a vitamin D supplement. At the first signs of a cold, take up to 20,000 or even more units of vitamin D daily, and pay attention that you always combine it with vitamin K2 in a ratio of 10,000 units to 100 micrograms K2. 
zinc is important for the development and function of our immune cells and for the reduction of oxidative stress, which means the stress caused by free radicals. It is available in high amounts in shellfish and other seafood, or as a supplement, you can take it as a zinc bisglycinate. A maintenance dose is around 15 to 25 milligrams per day, but at the onset of a cold, take 200 to 250 milligrams for the first few days. To avoid having too much zinc in your body over longer periods of time, you should combine it with other foods that contain enough copper. The best sources for copper are liver, shiitake mushrooms and rosehip. Next one up is apple cider vinegar. Take apple cider vinegar in water several times daily as the acetic acid in the vinegar stimulates white blood cells and therefore supports the immune system. To make the vinegar taste better, combine it with a squeezed lemon and some stevia or erythritol. To further support the reduction of inflammation, two things are vital. Fasting reduces inflammation more than anything else and more than anything you can take as a supplement or eat. So the longer you fast, the more your inflammation is reduced. And the number one nutrient to reduce inflammation is omega-3 fatty acids. The best natural food sources for omega-3 fatty acids are cod liver oil, mackerel, sardines, and grass-fed beef. And finally, some natural supplements and foods that are antiviral and antibacterial. Elderberry extract, oregano oil, olive leaf extract, garlic, propolis, and L-lysine. And now, get rid of all the sugar, stay at home, regenerate, sleep enough, reduce stress, start fasting. At least for 24, if not 48 or more hours. And you'll feel a lot better in no time.